In this video, we're going to walk you through the process of fitting piston rings. First, we'll start with the top compression ring and insert it into the cylinder bore. Then, using the piston to keep it straight, we'll push the ring in about one and a half inches from the bottom of the cylinder. These are superior cylinders and we're using superior piston rings, so we will get all of our piston ring gap and installation information from the superior service letter L04-01, which we will be sure to link down in the video description below. Now we will use a feeler gauge to make sure that our piston ring gap is between 45 and 55 thousandths. Because these cylinders are choked, meaning the bore gets tighter at the top, we also need to check the ring gap at the top of piston ring travel. For these cylinders, that would be 6 inches from the bottom of the cylinder bore. All we need to look for at the top of piston ring travel is make sure that we have at least seven and a half thousandths of piston ring gap. In this case, we had one ring that didn't have the minimum seven and a half thousandths gap at the top of ring travel. So now we'll head over to the ring grinder and shave off what we need to get our minimum gap. Now that we have all our top compression ring gaps within limits, we need to repeat the process for our second compression ring. The second compression ring requires the same ring gap of 45 to 55 thousandths and 7.5 thousandths at the top of ring travel. Our last ring to check is the oil ring. We'll start by checking the gap at one and a half inches from the bottom of the bore, but now we're looking for a 15 to 30 thousandths gap. Once we have that, we can push the ring to the top of its travel, which is measured at five and a half inches from the bottom of the bore, where once again, we wanna make sure we have a minimum gap of seven and a half thousandths. these rings are gapped. All that's left to do is give the bore a final wipe down, clean with some lacquer thinner, and apply a fresh coat of engine oil before we install the pistons. That's all we're going to show for this video, but please be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll be sure to show the piston installation in a later video. Thanks for watching.